I'd like to read something that I wrote about the Moorings Yacht and Country Club in Vero Beach. I really love the Moorings because it was the first golf course I ever built that was a short course. And I really, really love the way it came out. So I want to read it to you and what I've written about the Moorings. The Moorings Yacht and Country Club in Vero Beach, Florida, is the only short course that I have ever built during my 50 years as a golf course designer and I am extremely proud of how it turned out. Back in 1974, Jorge Gonzalez, who later became the club president of the Moorings Club, hired me to design and build an 18-hole golf course on 70 acres of property that included a large, barren, yet unspoiled peninsula that jutted out into the middle of the beautiful Indian River Lagoon. The front nine, which is built on the peninsula is totally surrounded by the Indian River Lagoon, which is the most biodiverse estuary in all North America. Of the 5,000 manatees that live in the state of Florida, one third of them live in the Indian River Lagoon. Over 4,500 species of plants, animals, including 700 species of fish also call it home. I must have had a vision back in 1974 because it seemed like I built the golf course of the future at the Moorings Club. Built 40 years before the Tee It Forward initiative, you can play faster and have more fun at the Moorings Club without having to tee it up forward because the normal recommended USGA pace of play for the 4,434 yards back tees without hurrying is only 3 hours and 25 minutes. The course at the morning is, is very playable from the front tees, but my plan for the back tees was to test the best players' shot-making skills over the entire 18 holes. This course is not always about hitting the big long drive. It's more about the placement of your shot and playing smart. With only 70 acres to work with, I think we did a good job of using every square inch efficiently with small greens, tight fairways, and 16 holes on the water. All the holes are well placed. You have nine par threes, eight par fours, and one par five, and you basically use every club in your bag. This course is a jewel. And over the last 40 years, my appreciation for the diverse wildlife that lives here has deepened. I took great delight in designing the course and seeing how it has matured and held its character. The little par 64 course always helps me to remind me that golf is more than just a game. And we're not just golf course designers and builders, but also responsible stewards for the environment. Keeping up with the times, the Moorings Golf Club has also resurfaced their greens with Tiff Eagle Bermuda grass. And the superintendent usually keeps the green speeds fast, stepping at between 9 and 10. Plus back in 03, they removed 98% of all the invasive exotic species of trees and plants from the course and replaced them with native species. Now, 10 years later, the native trees and plants like the sable palms, green buttonwood, and sea grapes have grown. So now it looks very much like old Florida. In my opinion, it looks perfect. Another environmental friendly practice that the Moorings Clubs has adopted in maintaining a buffer zone of taller grasses around the aquatic features of the course. This has a multiple benefit besides stopping your ball from rolling into the water, such as stopping grass clippings and anything else that it might want to roll down into, into these ponds. Also, at that tall grass is a creating a habitat. You notice all the waiting birds like to walk around the, the grasses looking into, for insects bugs and small fish. And the grasses that are hanging over the water creating a shade are providing another habitat for those fish that live along the edge. They'll get underneath these grasses and hide and then dart out to get their food back and forth while the birds watch from above. About a hundred years ago, golf course architect Alistair McKenzie said, the chief objective of every golf course architect or greenkeeper worth his salt is to imitate the beauties and nature so closely as to make his work indistinguishable from the nature itself. So with that in mind, I'd say the closer we continue to mimic nature at the Moorings Golf Club, the more beautiful it is, plus the easier it is to maintain.